This is Twit. All right, we do have some app news this week. Uh, some pretty interesting stuff in here, so let's get to it. It's time for the apps. This kind of looks like our own material design uh, bumper. <laughs> Not, we were ahead. We were yeah, ahead of the curve. We were ahead of the curve. It's got some sound design in it too. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly, so exactly. <laughs> All right, Wayne, you got the first one. Well, to kind of come back to the idea that sometimes when we complain to Google, they listen. We talked a little while ago about how everyone kind of just hated the fact that Google just completely replaced the app permissions list with the data, data safety section. Yeah. Now, there's there's not, nothing really necessarily wrong with the data safety section. It has a lot of additional information and more contextual information, but it is the honor system and it really wasn't an automated, you know, an automatically, um, automatically generated list of anything. Everyone liked their permissions list. So we complained, Google said they would bring it back and it is back in version 32.1.10-21 of the Play Store, your app permissions list is back. And if you go to an apps listing in the Play Store, look in the app info section, you will see a, a brand new, well, what is, it was it was the old section, but it's, it's new again, it's got a new section. And you'll see app permissions in the app info. If you click see more, you will see all that permissions detail that you have been missing. Now, just to note that if you want to adjust any of the permissions for the app, you still have to go back to settings. But there you go. Sometimes complaining works, and we got our app permissions list back right up in the app info where, where it should have been the whole time. Yeah. So that wasn't go. so hard. See? No. It wasn't so hard to give us give us everything we ask for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they already had it before. I just got to put it back. Again, like toggle it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Toggling yep. the switch that yep. was that was already there. No, I think that's, that's the right approach. And uh, yeah, like I don't know that we have an overhead shot and it's okay if we don't, but I'm just kind of looking at one for like Audible as one example. Uh, I just did a random app that I pulled up. Audible is a sponsor. I should also mention that. But, um, you know, and I'm just pulling that up and yeah, it's a full page of, of detail. So, and that's information that may or may not have been there if it was fully left up to the developer to describe exactly what they're using and why right it's oh, all yeah. it is is extra context and if that's a full page of extra context right on that's that's great for those of us you know who are users of these apps to really know and understand exactly what's going on there so how do you feel about it michelle is this a, is this good news so i understand why google may have removed it and um you know the reason is the permissions that you see on that list are not really it's not really represent representation of Android's permission model as it's supposed to work. So like all those permissions that you see, you're never going to actually see any apps request those permissions in context, as in like while you're actually running the app, you're never going to see permission dialogue asking for most of those permissions. Right. That's because most of those permissions are automatically granted when you install the app. And so it's kind of assumed that those permissions aren't really sensitive. Things like the internet permission, right? Mm -hmm. You kind of assume every app will have access to the internet. So you don't really need to ask the user to grant internet access. The sensitive permissions that are part of the you know applications request list, those should be requested and you know we, we presented to the user when you're they are they are actually needed. So for example, if an app wants to use a microphone, then the app will actually have to ask the user to grant it access to the microphone, you know, with this dialogue. So it's kind of not it's kind of like a relic of the past and it's not really relevant to how permissions work today in Android. So I can see why Google thought this is kind of misleading to users. They might think an app is, you know, requesting way more sensitive permissions than are needed. So let's get rid of this while we launch the ADC section. Uh, they didn't really announce or say why they got rid of it, but I can understand why they would have done it. Yeah, I mean, like I'm looking at Uber right now. There's so much here. <laughs> listed oh. that you know it's it's basically of like all, two of pages all people to check jason geez <laughs> well i, I yeah. wanted to check something that would actually give me a lot of information here right and uh i mean the other category is almost an entire page full full of things and like i don't know as a user how useful it is for me to know that this app can appear on top of other apps but but I'm of the mind that like more information is better than less. And sure. like, I'm sure there's someone out there that would look through this and be like, okay, you know, I may or may not make a different choice as far as installing this app, but at least I can look at this list and see everything that it's capable of doing. You know, it's, and whether, whether that user really truly understands that, I guess is the question, you know, and understands that when it says uh, prevents phone from sleeping that, you know, it's probably, you know, 
that there's no nef- probably no nefarious reason for that to be there. And some people might end up looking through this list and make some wild assumptions as far as things they don't understand in the list. And maybe that's you know part of what you're what you're saying there. That's that's true. But also, I think there's a lot of people that that just want to know as much information about this stuff as possible. And why not? If you've got the information, show it. Yeah. I do feel like sometimes people do, like some devs do have bad practices and this is kind of like my husband and I are just Android devs. So this is like how we spend our time is like sometimes when we're installing a new app. One one thing, one like permission, for example, that can just easily be nagged on is like phone, like identifying information on the phone. A lot, like kind of maybe not quite as much nowadays, but in the old days, back in my, like when I first started developing an Android, a lot of people would use the <laughs> phone ID as a like account customer ID to identify a customer when that's not really necessary um, or like they want phone access when they really want it for something that there are better solutions for. And so a lot of times back in the old days, we would sit around like, cause we're just so fun at parties and, and like as installing app kind of saying, well, why do they need this permission? And why do they need that permission? Mm-hmm. And occasionally it is kind of maybe a naive or less good implementation or, you know, kind of like using of a permission for a certain thing. So mm-hmm. I don't know, I, I'm, we're very, you know, our, our view is very skewed because of our day job, but I do think it's worth kind of like seeing some of those things and maybe being called out for them. Like, especially when, you know, in, in this world of security and privacy, when we try to like have learned that maybe giving Google and other companies all of our information is not a good idea to kind of just have that as like a, huh, why do they need that piece of information? Um, and, and like, I, I, I totally get it. Like a lot of maybe non, non boring at parties type users might <laughs> see something and not understand. And maybe it seems very intimidating, but at the same time, I definitely feel like there have been very decent, like I, I've seen some def- definitely very decent reviews saying, why do you need this? And it's a fair question sometimes like, why do you need my location for, you know, like, why do you need fine location versus like uh, rough or coarse location, things right, like that. So I think right. I think they're fair questions to bring up. Not everyone's going to bring them up. Usually someone who's just very diligent and very uh, Android well, faithfully <laughs> user might bring well, it up. But I, I think it's worth to have it. But but and I and I and I agree. I think it's worth to have it. It's good to have for the transparency. But then you do. Uh, I mean, for better or for worse, you do get an uninformed user who sees that and freaks out and then deletes the app because they don't understand what the context. But right? but and, that's and, where the data. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, so so yeah. So right. No. So so like it's 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 the balance between those two things. So yeah. No, I, and I think that's why having both the data safety section to give the user, the developers a chance to, in English, more or less, say, yeah. this is what we're using it for. But I mean, that thing isn't really, you know, they're not really enforcing that. Like they're kind of selectively or just opportunistically like ma- mm-hmm. making sure people are honest. So in an ideal world, it would be a nice like two part check system, but it's not. So anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. 